Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make all these different toppers for your gifts or maybe just some of the 3D projects that you might be making and even smaller versions that you could put onto your cards. These are really easy to make. I've only used dies for a couple, which is at the end of the video. All of the other ones are all made just using, you know, your scissors and, you know, a few tools just like glue and things like that. But those of you that are regulars to the channel might recognize some of these as well because I have shared them in individual videos, but I wanted to just have one video where I have all of these so it just makes it easy for you guys to come to for reference and uh, yeah just nicer to have that one video that I can share. Majority of the product here is by Dovecraft it's their mirror and their glitter card just to give you an example here you've got this one here this is the premium adhesive glitter card you've also got this one here which is the A4 double-sided glitter card and it's the double-sided that I've used on these kind of projects here the mirrored card is also the Dovecraft mirror and uh, the silver here as well and also these holographic ones so again everything will be linked as much as possible below so let me show you how I made these Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you how to make one of these big bow toppers. Really, really nice. This one is using the same lengths that I'm going to tell you for this one, but I've done this as half an inch wide. So you'll see here, this is half inch, whereas these are all one inch. So if you do prefer to make this, I guess, more, just a thinner version, you can actually see through this. You actually see all the shape and stuff. It looks really, really good. Very, very effective. Then you want to do exactly what I do here, but just have yours a half an inch wide rather than the one inch. But I'm going to show you the thicker version because this one does look really good as well. So you'll want eight pieces here. I've already done these ones. And these are eight pieces of six by one inch. And how I wrap it, I'm going to show you in a moment, but you'll need that many there in that size. And then I'm going to show you this one here, which is four inches by one inch. And that's what I've got here. And all you do is I just, you know, tell everybody, just put your thumbs on the top and then pull them towards you. So your thumbs are still on the top. And you just kind of want to, you know, cross them over so you can, you know, stick them like so. So you can see this point here lines up there and then that point underneath lines up with that piece. So you've got a nice shape. And if I flick it over... You can kind of like move it a little bit just so you get that kind of point you know and don't worry if they're not all exact they don't you know it's just you want to get them as, as similar to that as possible you can see them when I add that one next to it so I'm just going to open this one up and I'm just using hot glue for this because I'm using that glitter card which I will show you in a moment because it's wonderful stuff and whilst that glue's just kind of grabbing you can just wiggle it around a little bit like so. Okay, so you want eight of the four by one inch and eight of the six by one inch. And this is the glitter card that I've used for this one here. You can get smaller sizes as well. It's double sided, which is why it's great for these kind of, you know, projects where you see all of the sides. And it's the 12 by 12 by Dovecraft. You get some really lovely colors in that one. Again, all the links will be shared below. So now constructing it, it's very, very easy. So grab your largest ones first and you're going to put two of them together like so. So again, just going to bring in my glue, just a little bead of glue underneath and just stick that over the top and it will grab very quickly. And then you're going to do these two like this. So you're going to have the four together. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue like so. And again, okay. Then you're going to grab the next ones, you're going to pop these in all the gaps, all right, and you start to build it up. So again, just a small amount, kind of line up the curve here with the curve here so everything's all, you know, the same kind of distance apart. If you keep working opposites each time, it will just help as well to keep everything in shape. Okay, so you can already see how quickly it comes together. And now you're going to do exactly the same, but with these smaller pieces. A little bead of glue there, and you're popping it in this gap here. And then again, going to work opposite. Don't worry if they don't sit over each other, but you want to make sure that they go in the gaps there. And then again here. So always do it in groups of four. So there's those four. And then these last ones are going to go in the gaps again. And it will start to kind of come in on itself. So don't worry so much now with those curves kind of all meeting up. So again, 
Try and keep with your opposite. You might have to like push it in a little bit, move them around. But I love doing these for, you know, those special presents, you know, those bigger gifts. It's just the perfect way to finish them off. And then this one. You'll have a bit longer, you know, in between. Make sure your glue is dry. But you can see, you just want to kind of lock it all in. It looks absolutely wonderful. These really, really do look very, very good. And then lastly, I've just got another piece here and I've done this to one inch by two. And I'm just going to curl it, you know, around my finger there, like so. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue just along the edge there and just make a little tube like so and then another piece there and then I'm just going to sit that in the middle like so and there you have a beautiful bow topper for anything gift boxes gift bags you know, it's entirely up to you. But just to show you just how different they look, exactly the same lengths, but by just changing your width, you get two very different styles. So that's the half inch and that's the one inch. Okay, so next I wanna show you how to make this here using your oval dies. So any oval dies you have, I have these ones here by Card Making Magic. These are great because they're more of a squashed oval. So they're actually, it's like it's been stretched out. So for this one here, I've just selected, it's up to you what sizes, but you want two of one size and then you want two of a slightly smaller size so I'll just pull out the dies so for those of you that do have this set you can see which ones I've used so I believe it's this one here I'll give the measurements and then the next size down for these ones here and I've just cut two circles here using one of my punches and they're one inches wide okay so if you want to get something of a similar size to me you'll need some ovals that are two by four and a half and you again you'll want to cut two of those and then these ones here are one and a half by four and again you'll want two of those ones as I said before all the links if I can find them they will be shared below this one's very very quick and easy as are most of the ones I'm showing you today you just want to grab the first two or all of them actually because you might as well do them at the same time and just put a little curl in them it will just help when you go to stick them together that's the shape that we want them to go okay and again using the hot glue excuse the colors I'm just running through my glue sticks right now you're just going to fold them over line them up make sure you keep that nice curl try not to fold it so that it, it forms a crease you want it to stay nice and curved like that and you can see what we're creating here is these pieces now you don't need two of each you need four of each and some of you probably already thought that looking at the video. So I'm going to cut another two in a moment. Of each size, you want four of this size because you can see that will be two that way. This also makes a nice bow on its own. So I can show you that um, in another one in a moment because I've got a smaller version to show you because it's very, very similar. But you'll just want to cut four of these. So I'll quickly do that in a second. But again, with that next size down, you're just doing exactly the same little bit of glue so these are great for batch making you know you can get everything cut and then just go through and glue it all and if you're using the hot glue it's very very quick okay so I'm just going to cut those again okay so you'll now see I've got my four larger ones and four smaller so it doesn't matter what size you make this as long as you have four of each and I've also changed the colors a little bit because I actually didn't have any more of that because that's another good thing with these is that you can actually use a lot of your scraps to make them up so very easy construction and similar to what we've done already you're just going to pop a little bit of glue on one of the larger ones first and then just sit that over the top, okay, like so. And then I'm gonna pop these ones opposite. So do one at a time, because you'll need to push them down a little bit. Just a small amount of glue. You're just sitting it in there like that. I love this one, it's really effective. And then again, you can sit this one just next to it. Kind of flatten them a little bit, but you, like I said, you don't want to form a crease, but you can flatten them just a little bit. And I'm actually going to construct this one slightly differently, so I'm going to do opposites, and I'm going to do them like this. For this one here, can you see they're just offset? So I just stuck them like that. So you do two like that, and two like that, and then we're going to pop the circle in the middle, and you can see that gives you that shape. But I do want to try and show you as many variations as possible, and because I'm working with these different colours, I think it's nice to show you 
you know, another way again. So this time, if you sit them actually directly on top of the one below, you'll get a very different effect. So I'm going to sit it over that one a little bit so it shows the purple underneath here. And then again, I'm going to bring this one in, bring it down. So again, you get to see that nice, you know, contrast of colour underneath there. And again, that last one. And then for the centre, I've actually changed the colour for this one here, just so it kind of, you know, sits well against that purple. And you just want to pop that in the centre, make sure all your glue is secure. Okay, and there is another really nice bow. You could finish that with a nice kind of embellishment in the centre there, like a flat back pearl or something. But that's exactly the same size, but this one is just offset. And those ones I've actually sat directly over the top. So they're completely parallel with each other. And I think they look really, really nice. So that's another option there and another topper idea. Again, sticking with these oval dies just want to show you how you can just make a simple bow these are lovely to pop on your cards to put on smaller gift boxes and bags and just to use as embellishments you might want to do some friend mail but you want to die cut the smallest you have so i've gone for this one here right in the center and again just put a little curl in it because it just makes everything easier when you go to stick it together and again i'm just going to pop the tiniest amount of glue in there bring it around pinch that but again try to make sure you keep that nice and curved there just that one, and again, the smallest amount of glue, and you don't have to use the hot glue, I'm using it for the video because it's quick, but also if you are using a textured card like a glitter and things like that, I find the hot glue it works much, much better. Okay, so there's your two there. Then you just want to grab the glue again with a small amount, and you're just going to stick one over the top, like so. And I've got some more silver card here, I'm just going to trim, you don't need hardly any there and it's up to you what width you want to do so I'm going to bring this in a little bit here so I'll give you the measurements for this one that you're looking at it's just under half an inch again just put a little curl in that and I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on the back here stick that down I'm not going to add any glue to the front okay although you can see glue there I'm not actually going to add any glue and you just want to wrap it around and then you'll find you end up trimming it. I'm going to take a little bit more off there put another little bit of glue just on the back and then bring that around. So that way if you do have any glue oozing out like I've got there I can just wipe that away but then you don't see any on the front and then I can just secure that nicely and there you have another little bow and again very very easy and quick to make. Okay, so that's another idea with the oval die. So already, you know, you can see some very different effects that you can get just using your shaped dies. Next one I want to show you is how to make this one. This is one of my favourites. I actually have a video showing you how to make this, but it's quite old and I thought I would combine them, as I mentioned, into one tutorial. So you can see there just how this looks. And again, a great one. You could imagine this very big. You could put it on a bike. You know, if it's a special Christmas present, you know, you've got a big TV for somebody. We do have those big gifts that we do, you know, um, give to people. So it's nice to be able to make these big bows. So this First of all, you'll want three pieces that are one and a half by six, and then you'll want two pieces that are one and a half by five. And then I've got this strip here, which is just for the insides. Again, that will get trimmed down. So grab two of these. One of them's gonna be for the bottom where we'll make our little flag tail detail. So I'm just, again, putting a little curve into this. Like so. And then again, with the hot glue, I'm just going to run a sheet of glue just down that side and fold that over. And again, just line them up. Just making sure, again, you've got that nice curve in the side there, okay? The key is getting this nice and straight. You do need them to sit perfectly over each other there. And again. Okay. And again, with the next size down, just curl them both. Just repeat again, pop some glue on the back. Okay, and then your construction is very similar, but this time you want to grab this one first and you're going to sit it over the top. Now you can cut the, the flag tails in first if you want. I prefer doing it at the end so you can see what I do and then you can make your mind up, you know, as to which way is best for you. But you want to pop some glue on the bottom and you want to get it, you know, in the centre. So you maybe use your grid 
I can see I've got the six um, here so I'm just on the three there but you are going to overlap it as well a little bit so just take away that glue and then this one here again just pop that one down there as long as you've got even amount kind of each side here like so and then get the next ones sit it on the top Again, make sure it's all parallel, you know, it all has to sit perfectly over the top there. And then that one is going to sit over there. And some are softer than others. This this uh, gold here is a very, very soft cardstock, so it curled beautifully. Can you see there? Whereas this one's a little bit thicker, so I've got a few like little lines in it, but we can still work with it. It's still going to work really nicely. You just kind of have to add a few extras, like so. But can you see already just how quickly that's coming together? And then you've got this piece here, and again, I'm just going to pop some glue there, stick it on the back, and then you want to wrap it around, making sure it goes right over all of that kind of detail, you know, all of that um, where they sit on top of each other. You just want to hide all of the joins, and then finish it there with another bit of glue. Not too worried about how it looks underneath, just trim off the excess there. That's that now stuck and then I'm just coming in here and I'm just going to cut down the middle. It's up to you how far down you go. I'm going down about half an inch and then just come in from each corner to meet that point there and you'll get your flag tail finish. So again this side. If you want to make this longer you can. It's in tight tune you can curve the edges. You know this these are just the basic ways of putting it together. There's so much scope for you to really add to it and embellish them and, and all that lovely stuff. Okay, so now you can see the flag tails and like I said, you can just put a little curl in the ends of them there as well. But that would look lovely now on the front of a gift bag, on the top of a gift box. And you can see there, those two really lovely bows. So that's another idea. I've got this one here and I love this one. This is just a, I've done this before, it's a tassel but you, you pull out the insides of it to make it turn into this kind of firework embellishment and you can stick this on the top of a gift box, you can use them with string and have them hanging as just little kind of tassels and things off of gift bags. It's just another fun way and it's very easy to do. So using that same glitter that I showed you earlier, this is a piece of 12. To be honest the length, the width is entirely up to you. So I'm doing mine at three inches. Okay, then I've got my trusty vegetable scissors here, which I love to use, and I'm just going to cut down basically as far as the scissors will allow me. It gives me about half an inch there, and then line up the next one and just cut through like so. If you don't have these scissors, it doesn't matter, you can cut it freehand, it's just going to take you a little bit longer, that's all. Okay, so now we have this really fun trim and that's great like this as well. You can add this around the tops of things, you know, around the cards that you may make. It looks like grass. There's lots of things you can do with this and I have shared these kind of things in many tutorials. But now you just want to go and just pop a little, again, a little curve in the glitter. This is really nice as well. It's got very, very little shred, um, shed considering it's double sided and it's thick. You know, it can really handle some uh, some battering to it so now you just want to start rolling the ends so I'm just starting there and just keep this nice and straight try not to let it you know go off course you want to keep it all lined up there and you can see that coil effect forming there just continue that all the way along keep everything nice and straight you don't want to be adding any glue because we need to be able to pull it apart if you were just making a normal tassel now, you would add glue along here and just keep rolling because you can see that tassel forming, but we actually want to pull it up. Just like a fancy tassel. Okay, and now when we get to the very end, you can just put a small bit of glue there and just roll that around like so. Just hold that in place for a minute until that's completely secure. Okay, so now we have this, and that's really cool. You can do lots of things with this as well. Okay, and now you just want to grab a few in the center and just start to pull them. Try not to pull it too quickly, otherwise the whole thing's just going to come out. But if you just start, just grab a few different ones there and just start to pull it up. I can feel it starting to come up. Can you see there? There we go. You'll, you'll know because it would just start to lift, but you don't want to go too mad. 
because otherwise it will just start to completely detach and you won't have anything really to stick to. But can you see as you pull it out, you get a really fun effect. And then what I would suggest you do is just grab your glue and just kind of open it up a little bit and try and, again, doesn't matter if you don't have hot glue, but just push a glue, you know, pop a, like a PVA glue in there or something like that might help as well. And again, I'm just gonna go on the other side there, just pop that in like so. And you just want to leave it to set. And again, you can move a few of them around. You can see there, I can pull up a little bit higher. And then I would just go in there with a bit more glue. But that one's now all secure. That's not coming out anywhere. And you can see if you want to as well, you could pop some glue inside that end there. Because you can see that's quite hollow. So I might just squeeze a little bit of glue just in there. And it will just settle into those little areas. But now we have these really fun firework toppers and I love them and they're great in pattern papers as well and you get to see all of that lovely pattern and print but I love the sparkle as well that you get from the glitter card so that's another option okay and then another one many of you will be familiar with and I've made this much bigger before on other projects that I've shared and this is just a bow topper and it's just lots and lots of pieces like this that you just kind of layer up now the amount that you use is pretty much up to you I'll give you a rough idea of what I'm using here but you do want to if you want that size there you want strips that are half an inch by two inches okay I've got 30 pieces which will give you that size there. Again, the mirror card stock's all from Dovecraft and this glitter card as well. But these are great toppers and the one that I made that's bigger, again, I'll link those tutorials along the way so you've got lots of things that you can go to just to get more inspiration. But again, just add a little curl into it and then a tiny bead of glue and just, again, wrap that one over. But make sure you keep it like that, okay? So I've got all of my pieces ready and you just want to start again. I always say work opposite, you know, so do that pair and then do that pair and then start filling in all the gaps. And eventually you just want to get rid of this circle. You don't want to see this. OK, this needs to disappear. Um, and this here is a two inch circle. OK, so I'm going to start off and then I'll speed up the video a little bit because once you see what it is that you do, it's, you know, it's very easy to do. Again, the smallest amounts of glue, and I'm just sticking, you know, the amount like this section here. That's what's sticking onto the actual circle. The rest of it is just, you know, hanging over the the edge there. So again, and then I'm going to pop one here. It's always best to work in pairs because that way, you know, you fill all the gaps properly. So there is the base done. Now we need to work our way up onto the next level so this time I'm bringing it in a little bit more to the circle inside the circle there but now I'm gonna that bottom layer so again work in with your opposites and your pairs so that one's gonna go there okay so that's the next layer and then I'm gonna work in again And then I'm going to flip it over and just put one in between all of these gaps here. And you can just work your way around. And then just push your finger down when you flip it over, push your finger down in the middle there and it will just help bring all of that up. Okay. And then lastly, all I do is put a dollop of glue in the centre. You kind of have to leave these ones because they just kind of sit in the hot glue just together you can see how they're just it forms like a heart right in the center there isn't that gorgeous absolutely beautiful very very straightforward to make and again that's using 30 of those pieces that i shared with you and you can see there the effects that you get okay so that's another one and then the last two that i want to share with you are actually using dies because you know it's nice to be able to make things without the use of dies but then sometimes people do prefer something that will do a lot of the work for us so this one here will actually give you a very very similar look to this here and this is the simply made crafts ultimate gift bow i did share this again it does have its own video but i wanted to just put them all into one video that you can come to so you just need to die cut three of these pieces here so if i just bring out so that you can see these a bit easier so i've done one of the largest one here then we've got this one which is that next size and then this small one here 
Now you also have these, these pieces here which will give you your little flag tails, so this effect here. I'm not going to add them on today but they're there for you to cut and you just will stick them underneath so it's very very easy to do. Okay, so I've die cut my pieces, so next all you need to do to kind of prep them a little is again put that curve in. By doing that, you know, I've said it all through this video but it really does make a big difference to the final finish of the bows. So there's that one there. It's a gorgeous glitter card again using the Dovecraft. So now I'm just going to, again, using my glue gun, I'm going to pop a blob of glue in the centre there and just bring this one over. Okay, and just hold that there for a second. But as that one's kind of just starting to set, I'm just going to bring the next one over because you can kind of build them up at the same time, like so. And then one. We've got some crazy glue colours going on here because I've now gone into a glue st uh, green glue stick but because I'm working on glitter card you can't see it. So you're just bringing in all of those sides and can you see how quickly that comes together? Very very similar to this one here. Okay this we will flip over this will this will actually be the back. I'm just gonna oh, keep that opened up a bit like that. So I've just flipped that one over and just kind of bring them back up, but you could keep that like this. You know, you might want to put a nice big embellishment in the centre there, use the flag tails behind it, that looks lovely. Or you could die cut two of these the same size and just stick them on top of each other. But I am going to show you just how to use it with these three here. So again, popping that blob of glue in the centre, bring over this one. I also forget to use them, but these are really handy whenever you're doing any kind of crafts with hot glue. Just use the little silicon glue um, finger protector, which is what these are. You get a couple, you can put them on your thumb as well, maybe like those two there, but it just means you can get right in there. It won't stick to this and obviously it won't burn you. But now there's that one there. So again, you could just do two of those if you wanted to, but that is now going to sit and we push it right in there. Isn't it lovely? It just transforms. So again, I'm going to pop some glue in there. Okay and now I'm going to pop some glue on there. So I've done the small one as well and just push that one inside there and then whilst that's just setting pop a little bit of glue again on that one and then this one you want to offset again really squeeze it down it does fit in there really nicely and just finishes off that bow. But again, you don't have to do it this way, you know, and these are the little ones really nice to have as a bow on its own as well, depending on the size of the gift that you will have. Yeah, it's still setting a little bit, but look at that. And again, you could put a nice big embellishment in the center there, finish it off with these flag tails there. And you've also got this detail, which will give you like a little bit of like a streamer effect. Um, these pieces here will give you other bow effects. You've got little flowers and snowflake there as well but I think it's absolutely beautiful. So again, if you don't have the dies and you want to recreate something yourself and use some oval dies, you'll get something very similar. And then there it is there. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So there's another option. And then the last one that I'm showing you today is this star die set. So this gives you this effect here. So you can just add some glue onto the back pieces here and stick it onto the top of a box. It's entirely up to you onto the front of a card. You can also put a little hole in them and have them as hanging little tree decorations. So they are really nice. I actually did make a gift box from them for the samples that I made when these were released. But I'll just show you, you get three sizes in this. So you get this very dinky one which is smaller than that again. This is for this size here, and then I've already die cut this size here just so you can see exactly how they look. Again, if I can find the links, if these are still available, hopefully they are, I will have that all below for you. Okay, so I'm just working along all of those score lines. Okay, so I've just gone along all those score lines and then I'm gonna use red tape and I just wanna pop a strip on each of these. Now you can use your hot glue if you want, but because you're working on such a small little area, you know, you may well get the glue oozing out onto the mirrored card and it just won't look very nice. So just by adding this red tape, it's nice and strong and it will stick really well to this textured card. So it's just a little bit easier to control as well.
Again, you'll have more time. I'm just going through these because I don't want the video to be too long. But that's that. Then you just take off the backing, do one at a time, and you're going to fold it over and then just line it up with the side like so. So now you have this gap and you can see we've got already one of the points to our star. Just need to push that in a little bit more there. Okay, so again go around to the next one, take your backing off, really make sure you get a nice crease on that point just so you can hide it and just bring it around and you start to see everything kind of join and how it should all form. There's another one there. I'm just going to continue doing that all the way around. And there's the last one. Again, very, very quick and these make awesome toppers. So again, just need to pop your glue on there and you can stick that directly on. You can also put two of them back to back. That's one way to construct them. But I also done it so that I stuck the tabs on this one to the tabs on the other one and it actually made a little gift box or more of a 3D style star as well. So that's another version for you. So there are all my toppers. There's actually 10 different variations here and you could certainly do even more as well by changing more of the sizings and just the way you construct it. But I just wanted to just put this video together so that you had one that you could just go to, you know, rather than me telling you all these different videos that I have across my channel. Thoroughly enjoyed making these, really do like them. I think this is a favourite. I just love how this one's come together and I just adore that yellow glitter card as well. And I really like these ones. These are like a classic style that I go to quite a lot as well. And then these great ones where, you know, they actually use the dies there as well because that is just stunning. So hopefully this has given you lots of inspiration and, you know, able to decorate your presents really nicely and also pop these things make them much smaller and you can put them into your card making and just smaller crafts as well so thank you for watching as always all the links to everything if I can find it will be shared below please consider subscribing so you get to see more fun tutorials and I'll be back very soon with another video thanks for watching bye